here's our next round. We're going to talk about density. Not a big deal. Remember, we use the Greek letter rho in physics, unlike the big D that they probably used in chemistry. Um, this, is the per, this is the standard in physics. But the point is uh, density, density is defined as mass per volume. So uh, if I had water in uh, a volume, it wouldn't have as much mass as, say, lead or even gold in that same, uh, same volume. So it's all about molecular packing. Now, in chemistry, you learn that at STP, the standard temperature pressure, one atmosphere of pressure, four degrees centigrade, blah, blah, you learn that the density of water was a simple one gram per cubic centimeter because, you know, they deal with small quantities in chemistry. In physics, we use big stuff. More importantly, we use SI units. So I have got to convert this from grams per uh, centimeter cubed to kilograms per meter cubed. Now how many is that? Let's find out. How many grams in a kilogram? Um, thousand, thank you very much. So we'll put the thousand down here. Thousand grams per kilogram. We're almost there. How many centimeters in a meter? A hundred, yes, yes indeed, 100 centimeters per meter. But guess what? We've got to do that three times. I've got a cube, I've got a cubic centimeter. I need to find out how many cubic centimeters in a cubic meter. Now centimeters is about this much. A meter is this by this by this, so it's a lot more. And uh, we've got to do that three times. So what we're looking at is your one gram per centimeter cube is going to be a kilogram per 1,000 grams. OK, great, the grams go away. But now we either can see, uh, I hope, one meter. We do that three times, people. Why three times? Because it all goes back to uh, algebra. Algebra 1, remember? A, B cubed is A cubed, B cubed. You knew that. If you knew that, why do we always have a problem seeing this? I don't know. But when we do the math, three of them, one, two, three, three of them, meters cubed, kilogram up top, we get 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. In other words, if I had a cubic meter of water, it would have a mass of a thousand kilograms. And I hope that makes sense to you.